COVID-19 has caused a mandatory closure of all Jamaican educational institutions. This resulted in an interruption in students' learning, disruption of internal and external assessments, and other educational endeavors. This COVID-19 gives birth to the following questions. What will happen in the Jamaican education system? How do schools continue to exist during this pandemic? How do principals and teachers still deliver quality service? What will the education system in Jamaica be like after this pandemic? Of course, a myriad of responses cascade from these questions. But we are Jamaicans, so we are not dismayed. Our national anthem posits these lines. Keep us free from evil powers. Grant true wisdom from above. Still responds to duty's call. Strengthen us the weak to cherish. Give us vision lest we perish. As school leaders serving the Ministry of Education, we believe that God will give us the vision we need right now. So we shall use His wisdom to unleash the yet known potentials and capabilities as Jamaican educators to overcome this pandemic and lead successful schools. I am here to share a few tidbits with you, my fellow Jamaican educators, as a means of empowering our leadership capacity as we tenaciously lead our schools virtually. Establish an accountability matrix which outlines the duties and responsibilities of all staff. You should solicit the employees with the skill set especially applicable for this season, not necessarily managers only. The advent of new titles may emerge, for example, technical support managers, virtual classes coordinators, quality assurance manager, etc. An accountability matrix will clearly show who is responsible, accountable, who is to be consulted or informed for tasks to be done. Consider doing a crisis management policy. This will help you look at crisis, response to the crisis, and post-crisis. Use surveillance cameras to monitor plant and security personnel's response to duty. If your security personnel are not attached to a company, please ensure that they have legitimate work IDs that will allow them to report to work with aids should there be preference. Use all the possible means of communication to keep staff connected and on task as they continue to operate virtually via WhatsApp, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Teams, etc. to name a few. Have your staff keep e-portfolios for the following reasons. Posterity of best practices, marketing of their skills, appraisal purposes, to facilitate online interviews for emerging jobs or promotions. E-portfolios can be created using Blogger, Blogspot, Folder spaces, Pixpa, Portfolio, or Weebly. Create a data bank or design online instruments for the submission of departmental reports, virtual timetables, and of course substitution timetables for teachers who may be ill or unable to conduct classes for one reason or another virtually. Use webinars and any compatible platform to conduct meetings with your staff to ensure deliverables are met. 
Have your guidance counselors and PTA executive members conduct webinars to give parental support to support students who are trapped at home to cope via virtual classrooms. Use school website to communicate with parents and wider community to facilitate, for example, registration, regular bulletins, and general queries. Please note that any available social media platform can be used. Create an online inventory management system for all departments, which will show all that belongs to the department at the closure of school. It would also indicate any electronic devices loaned to staff to facilitate virtual operations. Of course, the necessary arrangements should be made to facilitate this. Observe classes virtually using any available platform and use video conferencing to give feedback to staff. Keep a daily journal as you navigate your way through this crisis in managing your school from a distance. This will provide useful information to charter a new dimension of management after this pandemic. Suggested platforms for support. Google Suite for Education, Schoology, Step, Moodle, or CISA. I'll share a few suggested collaboration platforms that support live video. TikTok, Lab, Hangouts Meet, Team, Skype, and Zoom. Here are some suggested tools to create digital learning content. ThinkLink, Bunsi, EdPuzzle, Kaltu, Nearpod, Peerdeck, or Squiggle. How can the Ministry of Education help school leaders? They can provide online submissions for the following. Claim form for motor vehicle or quick flash traveling, watchmen claim forms, pay advice slips, 503 forms, Submission of leaves, for example, vacation, special, and sick leaves for the submission of financial returns. The ministry can also provide reliable multi platforms to facilitate digitalized teaching and learning. They can also create an online manual for parents to cope with homeschooling via guidance counseling unit. They can also assist schools in implementing online banking and accounting systems, for example, QuickBooks, via their financial controllers department. They can also employ the services of a contact center that will meet the day-to-day -day queries of administrators and principals as they seek to exist during this crisis. How can the Jamaica Teachers Association help leaders? Yes, they can lobby for special allowances for teachers to be provided with Wi-Fi or data plans to foster virtual classes. They can also create a crisis management policy for their teachers, which will outline the types of crises, the duties of the teachers during this crisis, and the help that they can provide for their members. They can also provide for their contact teachers smartphones and give them special allowance to facilitate a data plan to communicate with members of the association. And finally, they can create an online hotline mechanism to receive the queries of their teachers. May God bless our efforts as educators as we inevitably continue to manage our institutions virtually from a distance. I'm Mark Jackson. Please remember to share and subscribe.